The last several years, I've watched history rhyme. In 18th and 19th century France, artists relied on an annual art exhibition known as the Salon. The Impressionists rejected this system. Today's crypto artists have been rejecting the systems we were born into. We've innovated how we display and sell our digital art, even the currency we use. I've brought this work to Sotheby's in order for provenance to draw a line through history and connect these revolutionary artistic and cultural movements nearly 160 years apart. My name is Matt Kane. I've been a working artist for 20 years now. I grew up in the Chicago suburbs, an unathletic science fair nerd. My early heroes were Thomas Edison, the Wright brothers, and of course, Michael Jordan. In the fifth grade, I visited the Museum of the Art Institute of Chicago on a field trip. This is the first time I remember seeing the work of Claude Monet. I understood his work through the lens of a young scientist. I loved how he repeated the same subject matter as a control in his experiments to show us how light, time of day, and seasons change the subject's appearance and application of paint. I create my paintings with custom software that I spent over 15,000 hours programming the last seven years. Before that, I spent eight years as a web engineer, teaching myself how to code on the job, also that one day I could become a digital artist that creates their own software, the same way that some artists will stretch their own canvas or grind their own pigments. In early 2019, I used my digital studio software to create master copies after Monet. I visited the Museum of the Art Institute of Chicago, deeply observing the work in person, taking notes before coming back to my studio to layer my algorithms and achieve with code what Monet did with oils. Although I designed and programmed my software myself, I was still a student learning the full potential of what I'd created. For this reason, I turned to the tradition of studying old masters by creating these master copies. May 6th of 2019, I minted my first NFT and sold it for the equivalent of $85 a day later. A week after that, I humbly watched Sotheby's auction a Monet painting for a record $110 million. Having spent the year making master copies after Monet and just joining the NFT auction platform Super Rare, it felt serendipitous. So that same night, I began work on one final master copy after Monet. It became the very first painting I created after minting my first NFT, but I didn't tokenize it. I believe everything in life has a right place and a right time. To sell this work now at Sotheby's is to connect it to Monet's original painting by sharing provenance under the same auction house. It closes a gap in time between when brave crypto artists were radically underselling their work in order to build this market from scratch to now when NFTs have arrived at the big auction houses. In the same way that Monet used the consistency of haystacks to show the time of day and change of seasons, I use the auction house and relationship to Monet's painting as a control to show this moment in time. This work is truly about changes we see in the market, medium, technology, and artists. Sotheby's is my haystacks. NFTs are the dew glistening across the field. And cryptocurrency payment is the light rising up, coming through the stacks. We are at the dawn of a new day.